Um, good evening. We are here at Southern Moon Hotel with a very lovely Shani for Radio One FM One Hundred Three Point Seven. Can you say hi to our uh, to your fans in Thailand? Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Shani Baye. I'm very excited to be here. Okay. So, can you tell us about uh, how you began your day preparing for the concert that you had here uh, by Dombre and Howard? So, I woke up at four a.m. in the morning. And <laughs> so early. Yeah, uh, I had to pack my things and my stuff uh, for an hour or so, and then we left uh, my home. My home is actually three minutes from the airport, so uh, yeah, it only took us like two minutes to get there. Oh wow! Um, and yeah, so. We flew at about seven, about almost eight o'clock, and yeah, we arrived here at ten, I think. So you are used to traveling a lot, doing yeah. tours. What can you give me one thing that you always carry with you, that you always bring with you on the tour? Um, one funny, th one thing that would tickle your fans. It was like, oh, it's funny that she brings that. <laughs> um, like a teddy bear, favorite shoes. <laughs> What's one thing that you have to have with you when you do it, when you do tours? Probably uh, like hairbands because I always forget to pack them with me uh, because I don't really like do. I always do my hair up, so yeah, I always forget to pack them with me. So I always have to kind of like remember. <laughs> so when you're doing your preparation for shows like these, um, do you always have an do you have an entourage with you to do your makeup or do you do your own? Um, I mostly do my own makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. but um, today I didn't do my hair. Um, well, well, I, I did my hair, but like uh, <laughs> the stylist did my hair. Um, but yeah, mostly I do my hair and my makeup myself. That's very interesting because a lot of yeah. uh, <laughs> artists they usually rely on other. Uh, Another makeup artist, it's their hair. So when you go on these shows, how long do you, you have to take care of your voice, and stage, and all that? What's uh, the weirdest quirk? Say, uh, do you not talk for an hour before the show? Do you do a live show? Do you vocalize before? What's your what's your method? I I, I personally can't eat, eat anything before I get on stage because I kind of get nervous so I don't I don't feel like eating anything so um, yeah today before I got on stage uh, the staff uh, gave me some donuts and I was like no no I, I can't I really can't I mean I, I, I just get nervous and I can't eat anything. Oh, I was about to say a comment on that so you work on nervous energy. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> I mean it's like a calm nervous thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so how was the how was the audience tonight? I mean, this afternoon. The audience was amazing. Like everyone's like, Ooh. And yeah, it it was really heartwarming. Um, we were there earlier, and there were a lot of young young people today. So what kind of message would you tell uh, these young people when it comes to uh, looking up to artists and looking towards idolizing? Uh, uh, young artists like yourselves, what would, what would be the full message that you would want to do? Um, well, I think that you should just follow your dream and, um, you know, if you if you have an idol or like an artist that you look up to, you can uh, kind of like, um, kind of just not not follow them every, every single step, like, yeah. But um, yeah, just try to follow their, their dream and yeah, be an inspiration to others like uh, your favorite artist is an inspiration to you. <laughs> so how about you? Can you name me uh, five local artists in Thailand and five of your favorite artists here and describe what and give them, give me one word that you describe each one. No, make it three. Three, top three. Okay. Um, three names, international and uh, uh, in Thai and yeah, in international. Uh, and one word that would describe in Thailand. Um, top three. <laughs> uh, boy, boy, peace maker. Uh, one word. Um, I was something around. Don't. Don't. Okay. <laughs> Second. Dan of Fing. Dan of Fing. Yeah. One word. Fierce. Fierce. <laughs> Next one. Stan. And then, what's, what's the word? <laughs> oh, 
creative. Oh, I was going to say, right there. It's not like I was going to do the gesture. How about for the international? Which one do you look up on the most? Selena Gomez. Oh, Selena. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite thing about Selena Gomez? I think my favorite thing about her is that she, she, she's actually really grounded. Like mm -hmm. she's been the same from the beginning until now. Mm -hmm. I've been following her since I was like seven years old, <laughs> since wow. she was in Disney, uh, playing Beverly Hills that, that series. And oh, the Beverly Hills. Yeah, Beverly, yeah. Which is a Beverly. Yeah, that, that series. <laughs> okay. I know and that. um, yeah, I I just feel like she she always kept the same. I mean, she she the same. Yeah, she didn't change at all. Do you all. know why she her name is Selena? Gomez? No. You know why I like Selena Gomez? Yeah. Because her she was named after Selena. The girl who sang Dreaming of You, I don't know if you know that. She's a Latina, Tejana, Mexican superstar. That's why she was named Selena. Oh. So you know one thing about Selena Gomez. Yeah. yeah. Okay, who else? Second artist. Okay, Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Yeah. Okay. What, 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 what thing do you love about Katy Perry? I, I really love her shows. I mean, her shows are really creative. They're all like, so, they are so colorful and, um, yeah, they're like dancers and stuff. I mean, I've watched her shows on YouTube and I've also watched her Super uh, Super Bowl show and that was like so amazing and that made, made me, it, it inspired me to kind of like uh, aim for a Super Bowl. I, I don't know if that will ever work out but I mean, at least I have a dream. <laughs> so what, what kind of concept, uh, the third one first, who's your number three? Um, Aya Nadgane. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's just so cute. <laughs> So, if you get a mixture of all of these three, what character, what kind of show would you want to perform? That would mix all of these three performers for you. Um, I'll probably one act, one character, one attitude or characteristic of Ariana that you would want to present in one of your shows. Probably like her cuteness and you know, like the, the health link. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Second one from Katy Perry, what would you like to, to um, incorporate into your show? Um, maybe like the colorfulness. Oh, yeah, because Ariana is, yeah. is a bit more, um, her, 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 sexy, yeah, more yeah. sexy, and yeah, on the SM side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> So number three, uh, which was the first one? Selena. Yeah. What did you like? Um, it's so hard. I actually like everything about her. So um, maybe her looks. Her looks. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. And her dancers. Oh, her dancers. Yeah. She has a lot of the dancers. Yeah. So from from this point on, at the age of sixteen, so who is basically giving advice to you when it comes to? You? The term is not happening or planning your career. Um, what would you want to achieve by the age of 19? 19? Mm -hmm. I, I don't actually kind of like plan. Do, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I mean, I plan for the future, but mm -hmm. I don't really like um, think of the future like, oh, I'm gonna be this and this at 19 <laughs> because I just try to do my best uh, in right every now. day. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, right. And, uh, yeah, I just try to be in the moment and just do my best at everything I am doing. Who is your favorite person in the world? Uh, my parents. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, so do you have any shows that you might want to promote or any albums that are coming out anytime soon? Um, or singles? Yeah, uh, I'm going to have a, a third world single. Um, a Thai single mm -hmm. next month. Uh, it's called Because of You. And, yeah, Is it in English or in English? It's in Thai. But, in Thai. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be on YouTube on the 8th next month. Oh, let us know about yeah. that. Yeah. And um, I'm also going to record uh, two English songs, two original oh, songs. Yeah, so Let us know because we're coming up with a, with a show with a, on our radio show. Sure. We have a show that we want to feature. Sure, sure. And we'll think, get in touch with your. Yeah, yeah. I think so is it, it going to be next month? Um, those two songs, I think, maybe this year, but I'm not sure like, which time of this year, but 
Yeah. That's going to be good. They'll, they'll ask for your So, uh, what final message would you like to share to your fans uh, who are watching right now? Okay. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you guys for welcoming me so so warm and um, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I really love the food here too. Here at Sun and Moon, it's yeah. amazing. It's a great yeah, place. Yeah, right. And um, yeah, thank you for your support and I hope that I'll get the chance to come back here again. Um, yeah, as soon as possible. Yeah, we enjoyed it here. Thank you very much. Have a great time with you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, Janine, that's Janine for yeah. you here at Sun and Moon Hotel on Radio 1 FM 103.7. Yay! Yay. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Janine. Thank you very much.